Hi guys, this is Dr. Komal and welcome to KC Science Talks. Guys, in this video, we will study about the limit of resolution in context of light microscopy. This is a very basic lecture and this is my second lecture on microscopy. So, I will be uploading more lectures. So, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get notified. So, now let's get started with the video. So guys, limit of resolution is a very important term. It tells us about the microscope's ability. Now, how can we define it? Okay. It is the minimum distance between two points that allows for their discrimination as two separate points. Okay. So here we can understand it with the help of an example. So suppose you have a specimen. Okay. And here on the specimen, I want to study these two points A and B, okay, with the help of my light microscope. Now, this, uh, and I have a microscope, I have a microscope, its limit of resolution, is 10 micrometer, okay. And with this microscope, I have to study this specimen and specifically I am, I want to study points A and B. Now, in order to study these two points, the minimum distance which should be present between these two points is should be 10 micrometer, okay. Because at the limit of resolution is 10 micrometer. I will be only I will I can distinguish between these two points only if the distance between them is 10 micrometer okay if the distance between them is less than 10 micrometer then I will not be able to distinguish between these two with the help of this microscope which I have okay so the minimum distance should be between uh, these two points should be between should be 10 micrometer okay so that I can study them if the distance between them is less than 10 micrometer I will not be able to distinguish between them and they will appear to me as a single point okay so this is limit of resolution now how limit of resolution tells us about the microscope's ability because you know lesser the limit of resolution greater will be the microscope's ability okay suppose we have three microscopes microscope a microscope b and microscope c okay My, the limit of resolution of microscope a is 10 micrometer sorry for the noise in the street i hope the sound is clear but uh, you know there is a lot of noise in the street today uh, sorry for that so coming back we have three microscopes and the limit of resolution of limit of resolution of microscope a is 10 micrometer okay limit of resolution of microscope b is 5 micrometer and limit of resolution of microscope c is 2 micrometer okay so now tell me which one is better which one is the best one okay among these three obviously C C is the best one then the order is C is better than B is better than A okay why because C can differentiate between two points on the specimen even if they are 2 micrometer away. B can only distinguish between two points on the specimen if they are 5 micrometer away. The minimum distance should be 5 micrometer. Okay. And A can distinguish only if they are minimum 10 micrometer away. Okay. So, C is the best one and uh, C is better than B and B is better than a. So, it tells us about the microscope's ability. Once again, I can define it in the following manner that 
limit of resolution it is the minimum distance between two points on a specimen so that we can uh, distinguish them as two separate points okay or we can also define uh, define limit of resolution as it is the minimum distance between two points that allows their resolution okay now how can we calculate limit of resolution we can calculate using this formula limit of resolution 0.61 lambda upon n sin alpha okay where d is the limit of resolution limit of resolution lambda is the wavelength of light used to illuminate the specimen light used to illuminate the specimen n is the refractive index of the medium refractive index of the medium refractive and index of the medium surrounding the specimen or refractive and index of the medium between the specimen and the objective lens and alpha is the angular aperture angular aperture i'll tell you what it is okay so first uh, uh, let me tell you this uh, the denominator of the equation this n sin alpha n into sin alpha this is called numerical aperture of the objective lens numerical aperture of the objective lens okay so n is the refractive index okay so refractive index of air is 1 but uh, we can use some objective lenses can be used with a layer of immersion oil okay so oil has a greater refractive index than air so that decreases the limit of resolution okay and limit of resolution decreases so then the microscope's ability increases okay so suppose this is the specimen okay and this is the objective lens so here the oil is used okay oil is used so now let me explain the angular aperture first let me rub this so now what is angular aperture so this is the diagram which shows the path of light in the light microscope okay so this is the light source okay and the condenser lens focus this is the condenser lens it focuses the light on the specimen okay and this is the cone of light okay this is the cone of light which enters the objective lens from the specimen okay and this is this is angular aperture okay this is angular aperture aperture this angle okay this is angular aperture so we can define it as as the half of the angle of the cone of light which enters the objective lens from the specimen okay half of the angle half half of the angle of the cone of light which enters the objective lens from the specimen is called angular aperture okay so guys i hope limit of resolution is clear to you now you can also follow me on instagram and you can ask me questions and uh, i hope you like the lecture so please like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you so much